Hey there, my name's Ben, and I do outdoor adventures. In this episode, I go mountain biking at one of my favorite spots, which I also consider one of Maryland's hidden gems, the Liberty Reservoir Peninsula. Also, shout out to myself, the Grand Mini Two Drone, who is also in the Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and I do outdoor adventures. Today I'm here in Maryland as per usual and today is going to be a straight up mountain biking adventure. We're here at Liberty Reservoir. I come here a lot if you follow along in the channel but it's really just a local spot I can come and today we are here in the peninsula area. I'll post the map of where I am right now. If you have any questions about Liberty Reservoir mountain biking I have a guide that I'll post right up here but today's ride is going to be four maybe five miles we're chasing against the sunset we might stop and fly the drone and film the sunset but we're really just trying to get a quick lap in the mountain bike let's get into it this should create a nice four or five mile loop here gorgeous day for some riding I really like this section, it's just right along the river. It's a little bit of technical, but it's pretty easy. There aren't many rocks on this trail, it's just all these roots. can't really ask much more on mountain biking. The weather is fantastic and the trails are in good condition. Taking a little break to watch the sunset. It's a beautiful view, but we're gonna bike back now. In case you're wondering, most of that footage there was from the DJI Mini 2 drone. Really like that thing, just carry it in a backpack and fly periodically. We're going to kind of pick up the pace and just crush out some miles as we don't have much daylight left. Come on, 
There we go. But some of the flow here is just next level. This is by far my favorite spot. If I only have an hour at Liberty Reservoir, this is the place. This is the only place where they actually like build single track. All the other places are like fire roads and stuff like that. But here on the peninsula, it's some nice flowy single track. And I actually saw like a super tech slab back there. Holy, that's steep. Oh yeah. I was saying I already saw there's like a slab back there. Maybe like a 20 foot double rock slab drop. That's like something you see like out in Canada. I don't think I have to guts to send that at least not yet but it looks awfully tempting this flow are getting gorgeous over the reservoir right now I always forget it's not till like 10 20 minutes after sunset till the colors get very good speaking of beautiful sunsets two weeks ago I was out on the other end of the reservoir it called an awesome sunset so check out that video I'll link up top So I'm gonna loop back now, get a tough climb on this like nice wide trail. And then I'm probably gonna loop back on the road. It's just getting really dark out. So the single track isn't really 
safe at this point. Probably clock in four or five miles today. And yeah, as I said earlier, this place is getting better each time I come. So shout out to all the people who work on maintaining these trails. And yeah, this is the place to be in my opinion. So if you're used to riding Patapsco area, maybe head up here, check out some of these trails. And if you're used to riding Liberty Reservoir trails, definitely the place to be. I'm getting ready this spring for my big adventure, which is going to be attempting to be the first person ever bike around the entire Liberty Reservoir. It's a 45 mile trail that I've made. Uh, it's not going to be easy. So I'm going to be attempting that once I get a day off school with a good weather window. Try to do it in 10 hours. And yeah. So just gonna finish this is a little downhill back to where I parked the car. And yeah, thanks for watching today. Make sure to stay tuned for weekly outdoor adventures. This is an awesome ride, doesn't get much better.